In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good people, it is Wednesday, the 27th day of April, in the year of our Lord and Savior, 2022. This is the week that our children are opening school. From yesterday, I think from Monday, uh, our students are opening school. And as I have been telling you from Monday, allow me to keep on thanking you and praying for you that you you go to school well. Leave us at home praying for you. Very important. This week we are, we are on faith. It matters our faith. And I have produced so many other work on faith development. So if you do want to take a journey of faith, how to grow in faith, go to my YouTube channel, Father Charles Kenya, and you'll be able to get a lot of materials that you can use to grow your faith. That is precisely why it is there. It is there for you. Today, I want to share with you some five things that we are supposed to know for us to be content as Christians. Five things that every Christian should know. Number one, knowing the direction of our life. Knowing the direction of our life. Where are we headed? Are we on the right direction? We say in Latin, bene curit sed extra viam. That sometimes our running or our walk may be very good or good, but on the wrong direction. So it's always good to ask this question. As a Christian, am I on the right path or am I on the wrong path? There are so many indicators of a Christian who is on the wrong path. Please um, confer or refer to the Monday devotion. It, it, it can give you some hint on, the, on that. Number two, knowing the will of God for our lives. Sometimes we get so frustrated because things are not going the way we would want. We are feeling a bit uh, stuck in life because the way we want things to happen and to be done it is not the way it is happening. And we forget that whatever we ask of God comes in his own time. How do we know the will of God in our lives? How do we know this? Of course, constant life of prayer. If we know the will of God for our lives, it saves us from so many heartbreaks and frustrations, some of which actually we place on ourselves simply because we do not know Jesus. And you told that we should know Jesus intimately, just like the prodigal son intimately knew his dad. The prodigal son knew who his dad is, his temperament, and all what he can do and what he cannot do. That is the knowledge I'm talking about. Knowing who our father is. Such that even when we ask him of something and it is not forthcoming, we will know that it will happen in his own time. Number three, knowing who Jesus is in my life. Who is Jesus to me, not to others. When you are in a personal relationship with Jesus, you will be able to answer that question with clarity. Who is Jesus to me? Remember the question he asked. Who do people say I am? And then they groped in darkness. And then he asked him, he asked them, and you, who do you say I am? That question, we always evade it. Because we want to live in this universe of faith. Where we know Jesus in plural. We call ourselves Christians. We call ourselves born again. There is nothing wrong with that. But there is something wrong by not knowing Jesus as an individual. Who is he to you? The flip side of the same is the question four. Who am I in Jesus? 
who are we in Jesus? Who are we to him? You see, this knowledge helps us to stand strong as Christians because Jesus is not a stranger to us. We are not strangers to him. Job says, I know my eyes will see the Lord, not as a stranger. We can be Christians and Jesus is a stranger in our lives. And automatically we also become stranger in his life. Whatever that means. And finally, knowing our destiny after realizing our origin. That is important. Remember, in our spiritual training, what have we been told? That we share the same origin and the same destiny. Once we have known that, and we know that everything is in the hands of God, we are good. We are good. So thank you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Wednesday.